Dee, 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 dee. Hello everybody, welcome. Ah. Well, hi. Greetings everybody. Um, what I've got here is just a, a small selection of pieces, pots, that I have to uh, send to England and um, it's part of a, a sort of joint family, sort of leech family uh, exhibition in Somerton, Somerset and um, I said I would contribute some pots towards it. Of course the time comes, you get closer and closer and you suddenly think, help, I've got to put some pots together for that exhibition and uh, you suddenly realise that uh, perhaps you should have been putting a pots aside. So it's always, it is actually always a very good, it's a good idea when you get decent pots out of the kiln. And in this case, I actually did, I had a few pieces that I had put to one side. Um, so I had a few in hand as it were, but um, yeah, it's, it's very it's tempting sometimes, isn't it, to when you have decent pots out of the kiln to to sell them when somebody comes along and says, oh, I like that, can I buy it? And, you know, it's tempting to sell when actually you really want to take your very nicest pieces and squirrel them away somewhere. And um, for such a time as this, you know, for a show or an exhibition. Anyway, I just thought uh, what I'm about to do is I'm about to actually label these and um, with an index number and then uh, put some prices on a sheet of paper and then these have all got to be carefully wrapped up and put in a box and sent, sent across to my brother Johnny, Johnny John Leach at uh, Muchelney Pottery. He's He's also participating. He said, he told me to send, send the pots to him and he would take them. Anyway, so I just thought, just quickly, we'll just quickly go through them. Um, I'll just see if we can bring the camera a little closer. And I'll just, let me just adjust this light a touch. So we'll start with, um, We'll start with basically you see I'm trying to sort of put together a little group of pots and this is actually they wanted about 25 pots but I, I haven't got 25 pots and also the shipping cost is is a, quite a lot to England and I just don't even know how much this is going to cost but anyway we'll just have to factor that into the prices um, yeah so I was just trying to trying to get the best selection I could with what I had um, bearing in mind, it's always nice and good to have a little bit of, uh, in a group, to have a bit of scale. So something a little taller, perhaps something a little wider, fatter. Uh, a little group of footed bowls. And a small group here, tea bowls. A faceted, a faceted, this was rather nice, uh, small... Temaku uh, faceted dish. That. Yeah, so yeah, choosing, you know, selecting like that. Also, sort of a bit of a range of color uh, in terms of glaze variations, etc. So, yeah, I was just brief. I just shown you that one. These two came out of the kiln. They're quite nice. I thought they were. They were thrown and um, thrown and altered. That one, with, and then impressed. You see, with uh, with a white a white slip and a dark slip, a red iron oxide actually in that case. In this one here, red iron oxide, and that one is a porcelainous slip. Um, yeah, I was kind of pleased with them. They came out sort of interesting. That's got that uh, cornfield glaze on the inside there. Okay, those guys. Um, nice, nice, nice little tea bowl here. I'm just going to move this a touch closer. Um, yeah, this is uh, 
thrown and then with a, an engraved engraved decoration um, cornfield glaze and then sprayed over with wood ash I don't know if you can pick out but it's got it's got a slight bluey hue to it something must be going on that's reacting the wood ash with the uh, with the cornfield glaze underneath cornfield glaze is is interesting. I'm, I'm really, it's an unknown, bit of an unknown quantity to me at the minute. Here is a tea bowl with a iron oxide, sort of loose and brush decoration, brush decoration over a milky, a milky glaze. Came out quite nice. This is uh, Shino, which has then been um, finger wiped and, um, you know, finger decorating like that. You have to do it very, as soon as you dip it, you've got to do it right away to be able to get it. And then flicked over with uh, with red iron, red iron oxide. These little dots here, you see. Okay, um, another one of these guys that is uh, thrown and then engraved um, with a sort of uh, like some kind of uh, a vine or something uh, and then little marks here to indicate leaves as it were yeah, quite nice I was quite pleased with that and then sprayed over with wood ash quite pleasing cornfield glazed on the inside um, this is a thrown and then um, peeled with a potato peeler uh, sprayed over with wood ash quite pleasing it's quite pleased with that it's nice isn't it how the the wood ash runs and then pools at the at the base of each cut as it were the wood ash pools that gives a rather interesting effect milky glaze to the inside um, this is a, a salad and bowl with a uh, trimmed foot and this one was sh shellacked I did a shellac decoration on this and then after I'd done the decoration and rubbed it you know with a with a sponge as you do uh, bisfired it dipped it in glaze and after I dipped it in glaze I wiped it over like this so the high points of where the shellac was uh, were raised of course and so the sponge would clean them up clean them off you see that's kind of kind of interesting, isn't it? I like that. This is a a porcelain um, porcelain bowl, which is which is fluted, trimmed, fluted, um, decorative uh, sort of engraved star there, a pale saladin, quite nice. And this is a very similar pot, but stoneware and and tamaku. Quite a nice form. Happy with that, yes. Black, and then where the flutes were, uh, after I fluted, fluted it and glazed it, I then, before it went in the kiln, just lightly, very lightly, just just rub over where the flutes are like that, just to to thin the glaze a little bit just on the high points you see and then it allows it to go brown didn't quite didn't quite get it there because it hasn't broken quite there but for the most part it's 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 quite quite nice like that yep yeah. this is a very nice piece this is basically exactly the same technique as that bowl i just spoke about um temiku and different form of course uh, but this came out actually really nicely. We'll have to put a good price on that one because I, I like that one. So, yeah, that was a good, nice piece. This piece you may have seen before, which has been thrown, bulbous form, but expanded and paddled. Paddled with a crisscross paddle on the top and star paddle on the lower section. Sprayed over with, sprayed over with wood ash Salad and glaze to the inside. That one. And lastly, this guy, 
cylindrical bottle form which has been peeled with a potato peeler when it was leather hard um, bisque fired wood ash sprayed over the over heavily on the top so that it, it, it cascades down over the the form you see you don't want to put too much because it can then run all the way down to the bottom and then you stick to the shelf but um, yeah white glaze over the inside and over the the, the top there yeah I was uh, quite pleased with that they came out quite nicely so that's it that's the little selection that's going to go to England which I've got to get to um, get wrapped up now and hopefully we'll get it in the post by tomorrow so yeah have a look tell me what you think give me your thoughts <laughs> yeah yeah I think I think that's how we're gonna do it this time dee, 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 dee. Hey, I'm gonna do some more of these I quite like these with the uh, scalloped out with the potato peeler on these tea bowls, I think that's rather nice. It also feels quite good in the hand because all these sort of indentations are easily f feels safe in the hand. Good. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. Um, these pots will be going off to England tomorrow, and um, other than that, yes, it's I'm here in my. Ooh, let me see. This, swing the camera around in my gallery space here, which is, well, it's not a proper gallery, but it's getting there slowly. I don't know if I've ever brought you down here, but, uh, yeah, shelving and um, goes round the corner as well, over there. So anyway, this is my little gallery space downstairs in the, in the basement, I guess. Yes, sort of basement. Anyway. Thanks for joining us and um, visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. Uh, we do have some workshops up there, but they're not very well attended at the minute for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, it's getting towards the end of the season, isn't it, I suppose. But that's fine. Uh, I've got things to do anyway. Um, making YouTube videos <laughs> for you lot. No, it's, uh, it's, it's good to make videos I like doing it and uh, it's if it, it you know as I look back over time because I've, I've been making these videos now for eight years but as I look back over time I, I think uh, it's a it's a good uh, reference you know you can see what you was what you were doing at a certain time where you were it's like a diary you know I suppose anyway Write to me, visit my website, my Etsy shop. If you need any tools, uh, we've got them there on the website. Uh, what else? Yeah, wheels. Leech treadle wheels, of course, as you know. Oh, you keep telling us about those leech treadle wheels, son. Well, I, maybe I do. But it's just, just, to put it, just to put it in your mind so you don't forget. <laughs> And yeah, so we're taking orders on them. If you're interested in one, write to me and we'll get you fixed up with one. Okay? Hey, all right. Thanks for joining. I'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, we keep practicing. We sure do. Okie dokie. Bye-bye for now.